Like, I don't know if I... Maybe I'll just keep that. <laughs> Amanda is trying to make a decision on whether she wants to keep her Panama hat from Ecuador. I'll just keep it for now. It looks okay. It still looks weird. Say goodbye to Pee Pee. Pee Pee. <laughs> it's been beautiful. We stayed four nights. We're catching the ferry to Phuket. I think the ferry ride's only an hour and a half, so it shouldn't be too bad. See you there. Sweet home. We are just gonna go out and explore a little bit. We're not gonna do anything too crazy. Maybe get some food. I wanna get out there before it gets dark just so we can what? see. Amanda's scared. No. You don't have to be scared walking around Thailand at night because you got these. What? She's impressed. <laughs> okay. We'll see you guys in the morning. Tomorrow we're gonna spend the whole day exploring. We might get a motorbike so we can check out the beaches and stuff. Yeah, so we see you guys in 12 hours. Hey, what's up everybody? What are you Say good doing? morning. God, <laughs> so hurry up. We are way behind schedule. It is 1.30 in the afternoon. We rented a motorbike last night at 6 p.m. We had it for 24 hours, and the plan was to wake up this morning at 5.30, drive down half an hour to this kind of cape viewpoint, because it's supposed to be really beautiful. Of course, today, it's raining and windy. It's the crappiest day that we've had here in Phuket. So we still have another four hours or so on the bike. Ugh. So I guess we're gonna go. Can you not? Let me get ready. Well, get ready. I'm trying. As soon as Amanda finishes putting her face on. Sorry all you did was put a hat on. Well, you knew we were leaving. No, I didn't know what time. One of the scams we heard about here it's actually with the police. It happened to a guy as we were coming in, we were checking in. I had drove his motorbike down the main strip and he didn't wear a helmet. Police came and gave him a ticket, but they just pay, made him pay cash on the spot. And they told him to give them a thousand baht, which apparently is double what the ticket price is. We have a few thousand baht, but I stuck a little over 500 in my pocket and Amanda has the rest tucked here in her boob. So that way, just in case too, something happens, I can be like, here's 540 or so hopefully we don't deal with any of that stuff. Fingers crossed. I'm looking for the bike key. I just, oh, there's my pocket. This is our beast. raining still. It's not gonna blow over. No. I think it's gonna be like crappy. And we didn't think there'd be anybody here, but there's still people here. <laughs> A lot of people. The buses. So as we were riding here, we were commenting on how nice the roads are. I wasn't expecting that. So now we have to hike to the viewpoint. Being in Patang the last few days, you forget that there's this like more rural area here in Phuket. I like going to the cities and exploring the cities, but cruising through like these back areas, it's nice. It sucks because the pictures aren't going to be great because of the weather, but the only positive thing about it is that it's cool and yeah. we're not dying on the bikes. 
That's true, it's not Baking. hot. We saw our first elephant crossing sign. It's always fun to see like new signs because we saw some in Australia. Ooh. Our kangaroo sign, wombat. our first cassowary, wombat. We actually drove by a bunch of different elephant sanctuaries. Like, I don't know if they're sanctuaries. Well, I think they all they're, call themselves sanctuaries. More like an elephant farm. There's just people riding them. Ride elephants, guys. It's bad for them. That down there is where we're going to walk down to. We got a new friend. Hey buddy. So I've seen in videos, people have walked down here, but I don't see anybody else walking down here. What? Everyone's just chilling out up here. Yeah, they don't wanna get rained on. Well, you guys know us. We're not gonna chill out up there if there's some place to go. Looks like there's a pretty well laid out path. Okay, I'm gonna put this camera away for a little bit, just so I don't bust my ass. We'll see you guys when we're down at the point. Okay. We made it and I just almost threw my hip out. So I was jumping because right here on top of this hill was this five or six foot long black colored snake. It scared the shit out of me. Did you see me jump? Yeah, I'm right behind you. How high did I jump? Not high. Well, I was on rocks and you it's jumped. slippery. So I literally came around the corner and right here, it was just like laying here. We made eye contact. I think I intimidated it. <laughs> But anyways, scream. yeah, Amanda, I just screamed. And then I just saw it slither away. Amanda was like, what are you, where is it? <laughs> what is it is what I what said. What is it? Whew, got the heart going. But we're, we made it here, out to the end. And then there are all these little uh, pyramid triangle things that people build. Amanda was just admitting to stopping and letting me go first back there because she understands my <laughs> reflexes of a cat and dexterity. Yeah, you didn't do anything about me. I think my warning was sufficient. The fact that I jumped and I said, Amanda. You didn't say anything. I said, Amanda, watch out, be safe. Okay. And I scared the snake away. That should have been enough too. The snake is gone. It's raining still. It's not raining enough to ruin the camera, I don't think. It's coming down enough where um, I don't want to fly the drone. Which sucks. So I do want to fly the drone. I don't want to ruin the drone. Amanda's doing another outfit change. And there's a wedding party going by. This place filled up because it's 4.30. This is like the most photographed spot in Phuket. And it's also the most photographed for sunset. There's Amanda changing. Okay, we made it. This thing is huge though, and it's at the top of this hill. I think I read online too that this is 45 meters high. You can see the belly from where people have rubbed it. What are you supposed to say? I don't know, something about love. About love? Yeah. Love conquers all. We need more love in this world. That's where we met. Now I have to find a place to put it. Perfect. 
perfect. So we left Big Buddha and on the way down the hill there are these little like well we thought they were restaurants, but no one's here. What's wrong? my foot in the Oh god. Oh god, your shoe. So many ants on it. Yeah. Snakes, ants, monkeys. Um, but anyways, we wanted to get some food here, but no one's working. Well, anyways, we're gonna fly the drone finally. This looks so pretty. The clouds are just like blanket. Gorgeous was that sunset, but we're getting eaten by ants, so we're gonna hop in, hop on the bike, and head back to Patong, and hopefully not get in trouble about about keeping the bike longer than we should have. Okay. Okay, we made it back, no problems, but we did hit a roadblock, a police roadblock. As you're like pulling up, you try to like think of all the scenarios and what's gonna happen, and we don't have an international license. I know. I was like, oh god. Remember we talked about that earlier? I was like, are they going to ask us for it? But they, the car ahead of us, they didn't ask. But we did have to get off the bike, park it, like patted us down, went through our bags, asked us where we were going, asked if we'd been drinking. Phuket's a big party island. So if you come here and you plan on partying, don't drink and drive. On top of all that, it's 7.30 and we haven't eaten dinner yet. We haven't eaten anything yet. Literally. We haven't had, oh yeah, we haven't had anything. We had co a co coffee. Coffee, that's it. So we're gonna go explore um, downtown Phuket. Patong is known for its nightlife. Bangla Street, which is known for its clubs. It's like discotheque. Uh, it's got the girls on the poles dancing. There's prostitution. Girls? Well, probably the lady boys, girls and guys. <laughs> the ping pong shows are here. All of that stuff. We'll go check out that street. We're probably not gonna do any of those, like, Shows, unless you're gonna do one. Whoa, I'm gonna use this camera in forever. It is now 10 p.m. Yeah, still haven't eaten, so we're gonna go hopefully find the food that Mark wants and then go explore that street he was talking about. This is called Malin Plaza Market. I've got a big fat drum. The fish are going to town on her feet. It's like a buffet. Almost every fish in that vat is sucking on her foot right now. Drum, I've got a big fat, big fat, big, big, big. Listen! Like it was really ticklish, and now I'm just like, let's go. The woman working there said they eat the dead skin. I think she said she feeds them. Yeah. But they looked pretty damn hungry to me. Oh. Like, if you guys are debating on getting your feet sucked by little fish, I would totally, totally do it. 100 baht? It's like $3. Yeah. It's 100 baht. No biggie. No, yeah. yeah and it was just. A fun little experience. I can't imagine if those were piranha. <laughs> it would be a whole different experience. I've got a big fat We're gonna do a little ball ball. I've got a big fat, big fat, big, big, big. Hey!
fat drum. I've got a big fat it's drum. heaven for me. What a long day. It's hot. Oh, we did a lot today. We have never been approached anywhere else this many times being offered marijuana, weed, and cocaine. Marijuana and weed, that's the same thing. Exactly, see? <laughs> and also when we were in um, CoPP at one of those places, it was on the menu. Ecstasy, and well, MDMA. Funny. He did it like secretive, secretively. First he's like, taxi? I'm like, no, no thanks. He's like, marijuana. <laughs> And Mark's okay. like, wait, what? Huh? Oh, wait. No, 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 I'm, no good. I'm good. The ping pong shows, there's an assortment. Ping pong show, ribbon show, the needle show. Sex show. There's a whole bunch. And it's, it wasn't called sex show. It was called a <laughs> show. Very interesting. That street, Bongo Street, was crazy. <laughs> it was fun. But... It was interesting. Yeah. yeah. So tomorrow, we're out of here. We are heading to Koh Samui. If you had fun with us today, go ahead and like the video. And leave your comments below. And subscribe if you're not already a beautiful BC. But you should be. God. Oh man. But you should be. Okay, and we will see you guys in uh, Koh Samui. We probably won't vlog tomorrow because it's a travel day. <laughs> Three. Good work. Good work. Hasta la vista. See you guys.